Good afternoon, everyone. My name is David Cedeno. I'm here to talk about military education benefits. Why should you consider joining the United States Armed Forces? Well, there's a lot of reasons why people do it, a lot of reasons why people don't. I joined when I was 18 years old after graduating high school, did the Marine Corps, served four years, which is just one term, uh, got out, earned my education benefits that way, and I used it to go to school. Uh, students have a lot of career goals, but it costs money, it costs tuition. Joining is not as bad as people may think or as people may see in the media, because it's all dramatized just for the sake of the movie or TV show or whatever you're watching. But according to the U.S. government on their website, they actually mentioned that the requirements to join the U.S. military <clears throat> is you just have to be a U.S. citizen. That's one. Two, just meet the age standards, have good health, um, have a high school diploma, and pass the ASVAB test. The ASVAB test is just a test that consists of math, science, English, electronics, and mechanical stuff that if you excel in one or two areas on that test, then that's how they figure out what military job best fits you and where you will excel in the military. But with that all being said, today I'll talk about why you should join the military and have your education benefits at the end of your service to pay for your school. First thing, students need money. Students need money, tuition money, um, because they need to pay for their classes, their courses. Uh, a lot of students drop out, or a lot of students are working multiple jobs, or maybe just one, um, because of money issues. They need money to pay for classes and courses. Well, according to Erin Shanky on her article, um, she actually mentioned that money costs tuition, books, supplies, transportation, and in some cases, uh, housing depending what college university you go to. Too much work can affect academic performance. Uh, dropping out will probably lead you into finding uh, employment that you probably won't even enjoy. It'll be unenjoyable. Students have career goals, but they require degrees. And with degrees, they gotta go to school and school costs money. The issue I would say is everywhere in this country, in the US, but also internationally. There's probably a lot of students in other countries that have the same struggle. Well, according to Erin Shanky on her article again, 59% of students go to a four-year school and receive a diploma in six years just because they're not, you know, they're not having that money to continue school just to do it in four years. Also, she mentioned that students that come from a low-income background end up not graduating which is pretty sad. Solution to all this is actually completing an honorable military service and earning that, those education benefits to use for that school. Why do I say that? Well, earn education benefits by enlisting. Why do I say that is actually because according to the Veteran Affairs Department on their website, they actually mentioned that benefits, those education benefits that you earn from your military service it pays full tuition costs, which includes your books and your supplies, and you receive a monthly housing allowance. They pay you by the zip code of your school, the housing, the cost of living on the zip code area of living where your school is located, if that makes sense. Uh, so with that being said, education benefits gives you everything. Uh, students don't have to worry about dropping out or seeking employment because education benefits is right there. You ain't gotta find a job to earn money, more money. To execute a plan, first thing you wanna do is enlist in the military. Second, have good conduct from beginning to end. Be on your best behavior. Don't do anything crazy. Just do what you gotta do. Don't question it and you'll be fine. Step three, get out honorably. Just get out with a good record. Just don't get in trouble at all do your service and just get out and use your benefits, which is step four, uh, use your benefits that you earn um, to go to school, either back or start from the beginning. A lot of students may, may not wanna join the military because families, they don't wanna leave them behind, whether it's their own or 
you know, they, they have family um, that take care of them. Or they don't feel mentally or physically prepared to join, which is a really big one. Um, or also they don't think, uh, they, actually they think that military is all combat, all fighting, going to war, risking your life. I mean, there's a whole other side to the military. It's not just combat. Well, think about this. Think about working two or more jobs and life is becoming stressful. You're trying to pay for school. You're losing lack of sleep. You're not participating in class. You're not showing up to classes all the time. You're not performing well on exams or quizzes. You're, you're doing poorly in the class. Well, or even worse, you drop out because you're not making enough money to pay for the uh, other classes to continue or you don't make enough. Um, with that, take a break, quit those jobs, and join the military today for four years. Do it for four years. It goes by like that. It's not really that hard. After you go through the training, that's the only hard part. It's not really that hard once you start doing your military service. Not bad. Obtain your education benefits at the end of all that, and you go back to school stress-free because you don't have to worry about anything besides your school and pursue your dreams in school with your career goal. Uh, first thing you want to do to have a plan of action is actually explore what military branch you want to really get into, what best fits you, your character. According to Military Spot website, they said that the Marine Corps and the Army will be the best choice for you if you like intense, hardcore, more combat side of you know training and involvement. Navy, if you want to have more travel opportunities or be a lot on ships. Air Force, if you're good with electronics or computers. The Coast Guard, if you want to be involved in search and rescue missions. After that, after you pick what you want, what military branch you want to go into. Talk to a recruiter either by phone or in person by visiting you know, the local recruiting office near you for whatever branch that is. Uh, explain your situation. You, know, you want to join because you want those education benefits because your main career that you want to do in life is requires schooling. Your recruiter will sign you up for a job that's right for you, not anything crazy he'll put you in so you're not you know, doing anything that's really risking your life. You just go through it for four years, which is just one term. That's like the minimum. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really not bad. Uh, and you come out, you continue school, and this time it's for free. And you're stress-free. And that's why you should join the United States Armed Forces to receive those education benefits and continue pursuing your dreams, or not your, just your dreams, but your career goals in school. Thank you guys for listening. That concludes my presentation. My name is David Cedeno and goodbye.